Some of the symptoms you said were coughing. Why do people cough? Uh, cough is related to some of that inflammation, but you know, cough uh, is not just inflammation. People cough at night. Asthma tends to be a little worse at night, and some of that is a, is a combination of things. When we lay down to sleep, we get more drainage from the sinuses. That contributes to cough. Reflux is worse at night. Asthma, there's more inflammatory cells in the lung at night than during the day. Uh, and then there's sleep apnea on top of that, which can aggravate asthma and vice versa. So there's lots of things that can make nighttime asthma worse. We used to always say asthma is a nocturnal, is a nighttime disease. People wake up in the middle of the night with cough and wheeze and shortness of breath. What do they do for that when they wake up in the middle of the night? Yeah, heck of a way to wake up, isn't it? Yeah, uh, really, really scared really and short of breath. Well, most people have a rescue inhaler. A rescue inhaler is a medicine, a quick relief. I can take it and it'll open me up. I can breathe, okay? Mm -hmm. So albuterol is an example of that. All patients that have it, but I meet asthmatics all the time who don't even have a rescue inhaler or don't know how to use it properly. And that's, that's a big thing too, knowing how to use it. So you need to be sure that your physician instructs you. Don't say, here, take it sort of Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. So if people wake up in the middle of the night and cough and wheeze and they get up the next morning and they're not having any problems, they go to the doctor's office Sometimes the doctor wouldn't recognize that it's asthma and would say, well, you may have had a little anxiety attack. So it's difficult. It is. And we see that a lot, though. You know, you see people that cough a lot. And uh, I see this in children a lot. Uh, cough, cough, cough. And, oh, that's allergies or that's sinus or it's drainage. And they eventually end up in, a, in an allergy office. And we do spirometry, which is an objective measurement of this narrowing of the airways. So what is spirometry now? When you say that word, what do you mean? That's a, it can be as simple as a little handheld machine that you blow into. And it's based on your age and your height and your race. And you should fall within a range, OK? And some people don't have that available in their office. Uh, their pediatrician may not have it. Their internist may not have it. And these patients show up and they've coughed for years and uh, they, their doctors have attributed it to a number of things, but we do spirometry and they've got 60% lung function or 50% and you put them on appropriate therapy and they're sleeping through the night, they can do whatever they want to, they're not coughing and they just think you're the greatest ever because you figured this out. And it must be great to figure out when people have asthma and know that there are good treatments and good medicines for that.